here. What do you want? Hello, it's Raj. I'm leaving the kitchen now, and I'm at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Over. Pudge here, what do you want? Hello, Raj here. Uh, I'm walking up the stairs now. <laughs> Over. Pudge here, what do you want? Hello, it's Raj here. I'm outside the door now with my new mobile phone. And I'm going to walk into the room now. Over. <laughs> What'd you do that for? I'm saving your life. Mobile phones will kill you. Jesus, what are you scuttering on about now? Let me tell you the tale of Gabby Natter. She was married to Jim Natter, but he hadn't talked to her in ten years. Uh, they should have considered counselling. Yes, thank Is you, it... Marion. They would have talked if it wasn't for phones. Huh? She was never off them, constantly blabbing to her friends or whoever would listen. How are you, Mary? Just ringing to see what you had for dinner. We had peas and fish fingers. But Jim, he would have preferred beans. He has a bit of a face on him. Yeah, I have a bit of a face on you, haven't you, Jim? Anyway, speaking of faces, have you seen the fake tan on the melt? It's only wogeous. Mind you, I'll give her a ring and tell her it's only gorgeous. She went on and on oh, and on. Oh. She was never off the bloody phone. Even on the very odd occasion when they were at... <clears throat> doing it, there would always be a coitus interruptus. Oh, Teresa! Oh, we're in the middle of doing it, but Jim won't mind. Now, tell us, did you go for the kiwi or the peach? Well, I think the kiwi makes a fruit salad. Oh, Jesus, the poor thick. Yeah, poor Jim had to do more and more overtime to cover the outrageous phone bills. The house was in tatters. No shopping or cleaning was done, as Gabby was on the phone almost 24 hours a day. I mean, I couldn't believe it when he told me. £179.99 for a feckin' hover mower. I said, Jim, I said, Jim, get back to that shop and get your money back. That is outrageous, I said to him. Didn't I? J oh, well, that's what I said to him, Maddie. Listen, what time is it there in San Francisco? Oh, my God! Do you know you sound like you're only up the road? You really do! Then, on his birthday, Jim was surprised when he eventually got a present from Gabby. It was a mobile phone. And it's ready to go, she said. Ready to go in the bin, Jim thought. But uh, he managed to smile and he was about to give her a thank you kiss when her phone rang. Oh! Oh, hello! Oh, tell us. Did you get the results? Oh, that's great! And with that, Jim spent the rest of his birthday alone. Jesus. Do you know what that fella needs? Well, it's a good holiday to Bangkok, where for 20 pence you can have a no-holds-barred, mm. three-way special with a woman called Mai Ming, who can shoot ping-pong balls out of her lady parts, eh? whilst her friend Lumney clamps her five-inch-long fingernails into your buttocks while you scream at the top of your yes. voice, My name's Fiona! Tuna Satan's flute! <sighs> anyway, poor Jim was at home the next night. He was watching the football. Ah, he loved the lead. O'Leary! 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 Meanwhile, Gabby was up to her usual, blabbing on the phone. Lead scored, and as Jim jumped to his feet, he felt a searing pain down his side. What? He slumped onto the floor, but managed one call for help. Gabby! Uh, but she ignored him. Huh? Jim, I'm on the phone. Do you have some manners? Three hours later, she discovered the body of poor Jim Natter. Jesus. So did she call the ambulance? Ah, she did. After she'd called Mary, Christina, oh, Babs, God. Angela and June I... in the States. You won't believe it. Jim's after dying. Yeah, I know.
Do you know what's really ironic? Huh. Only a week later, Gabby received her last ever phone call. What you talking about, Willis? When her friends couldn't get through to her, they alerted the guards who discovered an old woman dead in the Natter's hallway. Oh, no, what? It turned out to be Gabby. Her hair had turned white and her face was contorted in utter terror. Her cold hand still held the phone. Upon further investigation, the police managed to trace the source of the last call. It was the one and only call from a phone registered in the name of Jim Natter. Jesus, but Jim was six foot under. They had to dig him up. You know the way. And that's where they found his mobile phone in the hand of his rotting corpse. Revenge! From beyond the grave. <laughs> Jesus. You answer it, will you? All right, hold on. Hello? <clears throat> yeah? Who's this? Who's it? Oh, the Grim Reaper! <gasps> Yeah, you want Raj? Oh, he's got a new mobile phone, so I can give me that number. It's 0877-35910. Yeah? All right, yeah, I'll pass that on, Mr. Reaper. What? What? I know it's been nice uh, up here, a bit drizzly, but sure, there you are, time of year now. <laughs> yeah, 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 all right, good man. Listen, uh, okay, I'll let him know. Oh, all right. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Uh, don't ah, tell me. That was death himself. <gasps> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he'll be calling you back. Huh? Something about your number being up. Oh, <laughs> anyway, will you turn the lights out? I'm awful tired. Uh, <sighs> I don't know what that thing Turn can... them out or I'll feckin' kill you oh. myself. Okay, then. Right, here I go. I'm going over to turn off the light, right? Oh, where is he? All right, okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh, God, dear baby. Dear baby Jesus. Now, you probably think that I fecked up me whole life. Now, I probably have, right? But I've decided to change me way. What's that breathing? Oh! Oh! Ah!